Welcome to the Revit tutorial for beginners. This video series will help you learn Revit from a zero level. Let's start. First, open Revit. This software will take some time to open. Based on your PC configuration. When you open up Revit, the first screen that it takes you to is called the Recent Files page. Some files that you've recently worked on. In the Models tab, you can see all the sample architecture projects, sample structure projects, sample system projects, and recently worked projects. The next tab is the Family tab. Here you will see a sample architecture family, a sample structure family, and a sample system family. Next in the top, after Recent Files, is an option called Learn. Click on Learn. From here, you will get new features in the Revit, Essential Skills videos, and Getting Started video. To open an existing project, you have to click on Open. From your saved project location, you can select your existing project. Click Close. To create a new project click New. After clicking, a template window will appear. From the template window, you have to select your project template. Click on the template file. From the template file option, you can select your project template. There are different types of templates available like default metric, system default metric, electrical default metric, mechanical default metric, plumbing default metric etc. Click cancel. Click open in the family option. From your saved family location, you can load existing family. Click close. To create a new family click new. From here, you can select your template file. Click close. In the right hand top corner, you will find different types of Autodesk tools, like search, Autodesk A360 sign in, Autodesk App Store and a help button. On the far left hand side is the back button. Click on the back button. After clicking, it will go to the active modeler family. Let's again click on the home button. So to start a new project, click new. After clicking, a template window will appear. Click on the template file. From the template file options, select the default metric. Select Project. Click OK. After clicking, a new project setup will open. When you start Revit for the first time, you will see the Properties panel and Project Browser panel overlapped. Let's select the Project Browser and drag to the right side. After dragging, it will adjust automatically. You can create your own user interface. In the left-hand top corner, where the R word is written, it is known as Quick Access. From these options, you can select which options you want to see in the Quick Access bar. If you want to customize the quick access bar, click on the customize quick access toolbar. After clicking, a customization window will appear. From here, you can rearrange all the shortcuts. If you want a quick access toolbar below the ribbon, put a tick on show quick access toolbar below the ribbon. Click OK. After clicking the quick access toolbar, it will shift to the below ribbon. To change the default location, click on the arrow. Click show above the ribbon. In the ribbon panel, you will find different types of tabs for your project. Like the Architecture tab, Structure tab, Steel tab, System tab, and all other tabs. In the Property tabs, you will find all the property-related information and editing options. In the Project Browser tab, you can select different types of levels, plans, elevations, cross-sections, etc. From the Application menu, you can open a new project, Family, Conceptual Mass, Title Block, and Annotation Symbol. In the Open option, you can open the Project, Family, Revit File, Building Component, IFC Sample File, etc. In the Save option, you can save your projects. With the Save As option, you can save your project in different formats. In the Export option, you can export your file in different formats, like CAD Format DWF, DWX, IFC, etc. In the Print option, you will get Print, Review, and Print Setup options. And the last option is Close. Click the option. In general settings, you can save your reminder time, synchronization, username, sign-in, journal file cleanup, work sharing update, frequency view option, etc. In the user interface, you can change all user interface related settings. In the graphics option, you can change your graphical settings and colors, like background color, selection color, pre-selection color, etc. In the hardware option, you can select your GPU for hardware acceleration. In the File Location option, you can select your template settings, the default path for the user, the default path for the family template file, the default path for the cloud, etc. In the Rendering option, you can set your render appearance path related settings. In the Check Spelling option, you can select your grammatical and spelling related settings. 
In the steering wheel option, you can select all the steering wheel related settings. In the view cube option, you can adjust your view cube size and other settings. And with the macro option, you can set your macro security and other settings. Click OK. The bottom portion is known as the status bar. From here, you can select your visual style related settings. These options are all different selection related settings. So these are the basic user interfaces for Revit. Like, subscribe, share, and press the bell icon for more interesting topics.